What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, leads, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Um, this is for Saddle Libra for September of 2022. Discover the name you have to any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, the energy of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general for reading for Santa Libra. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support uh, support your channel and the new subbies. If you'd like to donate, Cypress is 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love you guys. All right, Libra, I got a couple messages for your sign for September 2022, so I'm going to deliver them. The first one, I heard liar, liar, pants on fire, so that could be, you know, energies could be reversed, so only you know your story, not anybody else, so liar, liar, pants on fire, that could be you lying about person, people, place, or situation, or somebody lying to you about person, people, place, or situation, or something of that nature. Uh, you plug it in how it resonates, and the second one, I heard vacation addict. So that could be you, a vacation addict, or somebody you're connected to, a vacation addict. There's nothing wrong with being a vacation addict as long as you can afford to do it and you don't do it on stolen money. Um, that's just the damn truth. So, absolutely. I'm all about vacations, baby. As long as you don't steal from others to do it. That's just the truth. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Ear, good news. Firecracker, excitement. Fair messages here, I'm signing Libra. A significant illness of a Capricorn adult is about to become very significant in Libra's life. Significant illness of a Capricorn adult is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. A thief, a thief. A significant illness of a Capricorn adult thief is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. So some kind of Capricorn energy that adult I heard specifically that is a thief. Sounds like um, they are already ill in the universe, or they're about to become ill in the universe. However, that resonates and applies, Libra. They could have Capricorn in any aspects of their charts. Only you know who this person is to you, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay. We have B and Whale. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. Spirit messages you have, Son of Libra. Heavy Aries energy. Heavy. Lover energy. Heavy Aries lover energy is what I just heard. Heavy Aries lover energy. For one, it is a homosexual relationship. Well, one, it's a heterosexual relationship. Heavy Aries lover energy. So for some of you guys, you have an Aries lover, I'm feeling, currently in the energetic space. For one of you guys, it's a homosexual relationship. So two fems or two masculines. And for one, it is a heterosexual relationship. So a masculine and feminine um, Libra. So you heavy whoever this is for you have heavy aries lover energy whether it's a man-to-man -man relationship a woman-to-woman -woman relationship or a man-to-woman -woman relationship you plug this aries in how they resonate whether you're in a heterosexual relationship a homosexual relationship or what have you what have you with this aries if that applies transcending number 28 could be a very significant number in one's life number 28 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life number 28 Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. <clears throat> A Scorpio that was once <clears throat> very, very, very positive in your life is about to become a huge nightmare to you. Know this. 
Oh, Lord. I heard a Scorpio that was once very, very, very positive in your life is about to become a huge nightmare to you. Know this. For one, it's a Scorpio. For one, it's a Cancer. Masculines. For some, it's can um, Cancer Femme. Okay. So, okay. So, for some of you guys, it's a Scorpio Masculine. For some, it's a um, Cancer Masculine. And for some, it's a Cancer Feminine. So you plug it in how it resonates. For so so for some of you guys, it's Scorpio masculine. Some is a Cancer masculine. Some is a Cancer feminine. But um, whoever this rooster energy is, whether it's Scorpio masculine, Cancer masculine, or Cancer fem, um, I heard they once were um, very positive aspect in your life, but they're about to become basically your worst nightmare. Whether it's a Cancer fem, a Scorpio mas masculine, or a Cancer masculine. That <clears throat> they're showing up as the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. For one of you guys, it could be one person. For one, it could be two or two plus. But we got Scorpio masculine, Cancer masculine, Cancer fem energy, heavy Cancer, Cancer energy. Um, I'm feeling betrayal energy here. I heard they're about to become your worst nightmare. So why are they about to become your worst nightmare? I'm not sure. But they used to be a very positive, copacetic situation or energy in your life but it's about, it sounds like tables about to turn or they already have ear good news protection plan identity theft Protection plan, identity theft. So, so one of you guys, I think, is about to get a protection plan for identity theft. And you're about to get good news on that. Uh, let me go turn the light on real quick. I apologize. So for one of you guys, you're about to get a protection plan regarding identity theft. About to, I think you're about to get good news on this protection plan regarding identity theft, um, if that resonates for you. An award ceremony soon. An award ceremony soon. An award ceremony soon. So good news regarding an award ceremony. It could be you receiving an award or somebody you're connected to receiving an award. Or you could be giving the award to somebody. But somehow an award ceremony is about to be good news in your life. Whether you're getting the award, receiving the award, um, or you are connected to someone giving or receiving this award. Um, award ceremony. Good news for the award ceremony. Congratulations whoever that's for. Someone's about to come clean in a workplace situation. It is about to make you move fast. Fast, fast, fast. You're very, very, very high position high authority. Someone's about to come clean in a workplace situation soon. I heard um, you're, whoever you are, Libra, you be masculine from Libra, but you're very, very, very high position high authority. But whoever this person is, they're about to come clean in a workplace situation soon. So come clean, tell the truth about something, about person, people, place, or situation. But whoever this person is that's about to come clean in the workplace situation, it's about to give you good news and it's about to make you move fast uh, towards a situation. I feel for some, you could be an investigator. I didn't hear you were, but I intuitively feel you could be an investigator. I've been picking up heavy investigator energy. You might not be, but you are a very, very high position of authority, whether you're an investigator or not. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I think it's going to give you excitement. This person coming clean. It is going to make you very happy. And you're going to move fast. Okay, I heard it's going to make you very happy and you're going to move fast. So it's going to be good news for you. I think you were waiting on this, whoever this is for. I didn't hear it, hear it, hear, hear that you are, but intuitively I feel you were waiting on it. Um, and it's going to give you excitement. That's why you're going to move fast. You're going to be moving fast towards person, people, place, or situation. It is about to blow all to hell. Know this. It is about to blow all to hell. Know this. So something, 
somebody has done something bad in the workplace or terrible in the workplace, or they have done something, it sounds like something very big in a workplace. I mean, this doesn't sound like a little baby thing. Um, and I'm serious. It sounds like something huge. Um, and whatever the hell this is, it is huge. It is huge. What I mean, I wish I knew what it was. Whatever it is, it is huge. But I think you know what it is, Libra. You know what it is. You're waiting here. So you, you know what this is. But it is huge. Whatever the hell it is, and you're about to move in. Because um, it's going to be good news to you. It's going to give you excitement to move in. I think you were waiting on this person to tell on themselves or something to blow all the hell there. But it um, sounds like it's about to. Um, whatever this is. Yeah. Okay. Firecracker. We're moving on. I wish I knew what it was. I was waiting to channel to see if I knew. But Spirit only gives what Spirit only wants to give. All right. Excitement. A compliment from a stranger. A compliment from a stranger. Labor Day. A compliment from a stranger and Labor Day is what I heard. So I think a compliment from a stranger is about to make you excited. Well, that's beautiful. I love compliments from strangers or friend, anybody. It just makes somebody, it makes a person feel good. Um, and I'm just serious. So I think it'll make you feel good, Libra. Um, so a compliment from a stranger, I think is about to make you excited. I think it's about to boost your self-confidence, make you feel good. If that resonates for you, you can be masculine or feminine. Dudes like compliments too. So you can be a dude, just saying. Um, and for one Labor Day, I think Labor Day, there might be some kind of excitement going on or buzz going on or something. You, I think you might do something fun on Labor Day. I heard Labor Day. So, um, you, I think it's going to, whatever you're about to do on Labor Day or somebody else is about to do on Labor Day, it's about to be exciting and fun if that resonates for you. Oh, it doesn't say when it is. Okay, I was waiting to, I was trying to see when Labor Day was. But, um, hold on, I'm going to see when Labor Day is. I'm curious now. So, we're going to figure out when Labor Day is for y'all reading, for y'all's reading. Okay. But I think, I think you're going to do something fun on Labor Day or somebody else is. Um, how that resonates, okay? Just a little helpful hint. Um, for people that don't know, usually, you you know, no, no wearing white after Labor Day. That's usually the rule, just saying. September 5th, okay, so Monday, September 5th, so we're at August 27th, so that's like a, approximately a little over a week away, so I think one of you guys have plans on Labor Day, or um, or somebody you're connected to does, I think there's going to be, there might be fireworks there, possibly, we have the uh, fireworks on the card, possibly, you plug it in, how it resonates, all right, B, The word on the street is about to get around. For one, it's about to really benefit you. For one, it's about to no seriously not. The word on the street is about to really get around. For one of you guys, it's about to really benefit you. For one, it's about to really not. So whatever the hell the word on the street is. I didn't hear specifically what the word on the street is, but there's something buzzing around. Uh, B in this aspect can be many different aspects, but in this aspect, it's the buzz, the gossip, the buzz, um, the buzzing, um, the word on the street, the gossip and the buzz, the talk on the street. Um, for one, you guys, the gossip and the buzz and the chatter and the what have you, what have you, is going to really benefit you. For one, it's about to seriously not benefit you. So you plug it in however it resonates. Um, Libra.
A teacher is about to get wind of a child pedophile ring. One of her students is entrapped in. She's about to officially report it. It's about to go quickly. Know this. Well, that's good. Uh, so you could be the teacher. You could be the teacher about to report this, Libra. Or you could be somebody connected to this teacher. Uh, how that resonates. A teacher is about to get the word on the street, the buzz, the gossip, that one of her t students, I heard, it's a high school student. A high school student. It's a, one of her high school students is entrapped in a child pedophile ring. Uh, but I heard she's going to take action quickly. It's a female teacher. She's going to take action quickly, and she's going to report um, once she hears about her uh, teenage uh, student being entrapped in this child pedophile ring. I heard she's going to report it quickly, and I heard it's going to move fast. So bees are fast. They're fast. So I think somebody is about to, the word on the street is about to get to this female teacher. For some, I feel you could be this female teacher about to help out your teenage student. Kudos to you if that is the case for you, sir, ma'am. You're the real heroes in the world, okay? Um, for some, you could just, maybe you're the police about to move quickly in on this. Um, for some, you might be um, Child Protective Services about to come in. Um, but somehow, a t female teacher is about to become very significant. I feel maybe one of you guys are the female teacher or somebody connected to the female teacher. About to give her the word on the street, the buzz around town. About to help her, help her um, teenage student. Heard they're entrapped in a child pedophile ring, meaning they don't want to be there. Um, and they don't even, I'm sure they don't even know. I heard they're entrapped, so they don't know they're even a part of this child pedophile ring. And it's a teenager. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the second time, but I'm burning up. I've got to go turn the air off. I apologize. All right, I'm so sorry. Okay, so well. An inspector general is about to become very significant in Libra's life. An inspector general, damn. An inspector general. And a general. In the military. An inspector general and a general in the military. My God, I heard a general. So I don't know if they're a one star, two star, three star, four star. Um, but an inspector general and a general in the military. So it's about to become significant in one of you guys' life. Now, whoever this inspector general or one, two, three, or four star general in the military is to you and how they resonate, Libra. Um, whale is, uh, I feel in the general energy, whether they're an inspector general or one, two, three, or four star general. Um, whales are basically leaders of the sea. They're leaders of the sea. Um, so I feel this is your general energy. They're, they're the leaders of the sea there. Um, I feel they're leading something or are going to lead you or for some, they could bring you good news or create excitement, or maybe they're going to bring you the gossip or the word on the street, or they could be the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. How this person resonates in your life, Libra? Transcending? Baptism is about to become very significant in Libra's life. In a seance. Oh my God, whoa. A baptism and a seance. The seance is about to backfire in a huge way. Know this. Bad idea. Okay, a baptism and a seance. But I heard the seance is about to backfire in a huge way. Know this. So, that, that to me, that's a conundrum. You shouldn't even say 
baptism and seance in the same sentence, in my opinion, but that is what I got. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, a baptism is about to become very significant in your life. It could be you getting baptized or somebody you're connected to. That's obviously for the religious people. Now, we don't judge on here. You can be spiritual, spiritual and religious, um, or just spiritual or what have you. It's not about religion on here. Uh, but one of you guys is either about to get baptized or um, or you know somebody about to get baptized. Um, I think they're about having a spiritual awakening or they already have and um, they realize religion is for them and um, and whatever faith they're getting baptized in, um, whatever spiritual um, religious belief factors here are involved, okay? And for one, a seance. Now, yikes. That's the complete different polar opposite here, um, a seance. And I heard whoever that's for with the seance energy, I heard it's going to seriously backfire. Um, so whoever is about to do a seance, you're obviously on the dark art side. Um, very dark energy I'm feeling here. And I, I heard it's going to backfire. So um, hopefully that's good news to one of you guys. Uh, but one of you guys, you're very low vibrational and you're about to participate in the seance or you know about this seance or something. Yikes. A stolen wedding ring is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. A stolen wedding ring is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. It is not going to be found. Know this. Somebody is about to go pawn it. A stolen wedding ring is about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. And I heard, no, it's not going to be found. Somebody's about to go pawn it. So it could be your wedding ring uh, about to be stolen or somebody you're connected to's wedding ring about to be stolen. But whoever that's for, whether your wedding ring's about to get stolen or somebody you're connected to's wedding ring's about to get stolen, I heard no, it's not going to be found. Um, so I think maybe you thought you had lost it in your home or whoever lost it, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, somebody think they thought they lost it in their home or their space or their vehicle or something. Um, but it doesn't sound like that's the case. It sounds like somebody stole it and they're about to go pawn it. They most certainly stole it and they're about to get a lot of money for it. One is about to steal it. So there's at least two of you guys. Okay. So somebody has already stolen a wedding ring in the universe and then one is about to steal a wedding ring in the universe. But whether it's your wedding ring or somebody you're connected to's wedding ring, I think whoever's about to be missing this wedding ring, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, I think you thought you lost it, is what I'm trying to say. Or somebody you're connected to, I think they thought they lost it. But I heard that's not the case. Somebody's about to steal it. It's about to be someone you would have never expected. It's about to be someone you would have never expected. So it's about to be someone you would never expected to steal this wedding ring. Um, yeah, I think you thought you had lost it, or somebody you're connected to thought you lost it. But that's not the case. I heard somebody's about to steal it, and it's about to be someone you would have never thought to steal it. And I heard they're about to go pawn it. So, um, that's for one of you guys, um, uh, or at least two of you guys, at least two of you guys, um, that's terrible. Um, I feel for some of you guys, it's going to be your, what your wedding ring. And I hate to say that for some, I think it's going to be somebody you're connected to's wedding ring, but whoever's wedding rings, these, these are, uh, just know, I feel you're going to think you lost it or somebody you're connected to thinks they're going to, they lost it, but it's. It's actually going to be stolen by someone they would have never expected to be stole from, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, and that's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That has happened to my foster mother before. It was somebody, um, it was somebody in our family that ended up stealing a very, very, it was like a one carat diamond ring. Um, I lived in Texas at the time. Um, initially, somebody tried to blame it on me, but hell, I didn't even live here at the time. And I was like, how the hell can I steal a one carat diamond ring? When I lived 650 miles away, because I lived in Texas at the time, um, and of course they dropped it real quick after that because there was no way they could pin me to it because I didn't do it. Um, but 
that has happened to my foster mother before. And it was somebody in the family that stole the ring. And um, and that's a true story. And it was to get money off of it. So that kind of sounds exactly similar to this is what I'm trying to say. And this is terrible. Uh, who, Whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, about to get your uh, wedding ring stolen or it already has been stolen, it's a very expensive wedding ring. Very expensive. Um, whoever you are and how that applies. Okay. I apologize. I, I mean, well, I didn't do it, but my point is that's terrible. That's terrible. Transcending. Defamation and character lawsuit soon. One Libra is going to uh, deliver information on this to help someone out in a huge way. One of you guys is going to be very upset because you will be sued. Okay. Her defamation and character uh, lawsuit coming soon. For one of you Libras, you're going to deliver the information for the defamation and character um, lawsuit. And for one, you're going to be pissed because you're about going to be one of the ones about to be sued. So, um, only you know if you've defamed somebody's character. Um, I'm feeling professional character here. I'm feeling professional. Um, they have defamed someone's um, professional livelihood, basically, um, is what I'm feeling. Um, um, whether you're delivering the information that somebody's defamed somebody's professional character or... Um, or you're the one that defames somebody's professional character. Only you know if you've done this in the universe, not anybody else. Okay? Okay. Bill, Bill Street. I just heard Bill Street. Bill Street. So, Bill Street, if that resonates for anybody. Bill Street is in Memphis, Tennessee. For anybody who doesn't know that. Bill Street. And it's a really, really cool little area. I want to take my kids to Bill Street one day. Um, it's a really cool little area. It's got a lot of music and food and fun. It's got Hard Rock Cafe um, on that street, I, I do believe. It's been a while since I've been there. But one of you guys, I feel you might be visiting Bill Street or you live on Bill. Well, I don't think you live on Bill Street. You might live near Bill Street. Or um, you like to visit Bill Street or you know somebody that's about to go to Bill Street or has been to Bill Street. Bill Street, B-E-A-L-E -E Street. Um, it's in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, we're done. Let me look up something real quick and let me see if I hear anything else, okay? A Pisces and a Libra is about to go very public. Some in a relationship, some social media. A Pisces and a Libra is about to go very public for some social media, for some in a relationship. So Pisces and Libra in energy, you'd have Pisces or Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, Hamer, Jupiter, charts, masculine, Ken, Pisces or Libra. Um, for some of you guys, you're about to... Um, be in a relationship, so I feel you might make that public, is what I'm feeling for some. For some, you're about to go public on social media, so I think maybe you're going to collaborate together, or you're going to um, hang out together, or it's somehow it's going to be made known very publicly. You together in some collaborative effort, or, or just being in public, in the public eye together on social media. You could be uh, masculine or feminine Pisces, masculine or feminine Libra. You could have Pisces or Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hand or Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Pisces or Libra. For one of you guys, Pisces and Libra, it's going to be a relationship. It's about to go very public. Um, homosexual relationship. Homosexual relationship. So it's a homosexual relationship. So man or man or woman or woman uh, with the Pisces or Libra uh, relationship about to go very public. Um, all of that resonates. 
All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. And namaste.